Another benefit is that your children know that the mortgage payment that they make will be used for something good. Now the money that you pay goes to the family bank, gets invested and will help future generations. Welcome. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jesse Borst and I'm a professional investor. If you want to help your children financially, that can be quite a challenge. One way to do it is to use a family bank. A family bank is what the name says. It's a vehicle that helps you to loan money to your children, for instance, to buy a house, pay for education or for a business. A great thing about a family bank is that it allows you to help your children without running the risk of ruining them. It will not give them free money. They loan the money, so they need to pay it back. One of the benefits of using a family bank is that your family members don't have to use regular banks. So they are not dependent on other banks for their financial future. Another benefit of a family bank is that if your children run into issues, for instance, they lose their job, the reality is, is that you can help them by extending the loan or helping in other ways. By having a family bank in place, it will help you to help out in difficult situations. Also, a family bank has, for instance, tax advantages. In some countries, the interest that you pay on a mortgage is tax deductible. And with a family bank, your children are able to use these tax benefits. Another reason why a family bank can be very good is that it's a vehicle that can also pass down generationally. For instance, let's say your children need a $200,000 loan to buy a house. If the family bank provides that 200,000 against an interest of 5%, if you then calculate, for instance, an annuity, which is a fixed monthly payment, that would be about $1,000. If your children then pay $1,000 each month, you can use that $1,000 to invest. If you then, for instance, use that money to invest in the stock market and get an 8% return, after 30 years, after the mortgage has been paid off, you will see that that money has been grown to about 1.4 million. So effectively, the two hundred thousand dollars with the interest that your children pay and with the investments that you make two hundred thousand dollars has grown to 1.4 million and then that money can be used to for instance help the grandchildren to pay for a house and in that way you can build a vehicle that over time and through generations the money will be compounded and will be used to help future generations another benefit is that your children know that the mortgage payment that they make will be used for something good. A normal mortgage payment is just a payment to the bank. Now the money that you pay goes to the family bank, gets invested and will help future generations. To make the family bank work, you need to make sure that the preconditions to get a loan from the family bank are in order. For instance, don't give a loan to children that they are unable to pay. So what you could use is just use the standard banking rules that will calculate how much, for instance, a mortgage should be on a certain income. So don't give a mortgage that your children aren't able to pay. It just becomes a burden. So make sure that your children are in the right position and don't give out the money too freely. Otherwise, it can create issues. Another condition that you can give your children is that if they get the loan, they also need to apply for a loan to a traditional bank. So they apply to, for your loan, uh, which can be quite straightforward, but they also need to apply for a loan for a traditional bank. And that effectively, if the traditional bank accepts the loan, then you know, of course, that it checks and balances and that you give the right amount to your children. What also is helpful for your children to know is that if, for instance, the parents want to get the money back earlier, and that, of course, you want to avoid, but you want to build in a clause that that is possible, and knowing that they can refinance their mortgage at a traditional bank, that, of course, can help them also to know how flexible they are in this situation. You also want to introduce conditions that, for instance, help in case there's a divorce. Of course, then there's a loan to, for instance, an ex-partner. How do you deal with that? You want to have conditions in place that make sure that in case something happens, that there's already thought about and that there are preconditions about. The reality of a family bank is not so much a legal structure. It's not that you need a banking license. It's more that you can give a loan to your children, but there's very clear a contractual agreement, but also rules and conditions that your children need to follow to be able to apply for that loan. However, you want to make sure that, let's say the goals of the family bank are very clear to your children. So what are the goals? Maybe education, maybe a mortgage, uh, maybe a business, but you also want to make sure that it's very clear. Okay, for instance, education, maybe you just want to save for that for your children so they have a debt-free start and they don't have, let's say for instance, student loans with you, which of course can also be a burden. 
uh, it can still be the same concept that let's say they pay the make the payment you invest the money so that future children can have education but you really need to think about that how do you balance that maybe partly a loan uh, so let's say 50% loan, 50% you just give the money so you need to check okay what is the right balance of course you can have your own way of dealing with that the same for instance with the mortgage maybe you want to have 50% a mortgage from you and 50% the mortgage from a traditional bank also depends of course how much capital you have are you able to give away 200k that's maybe a lot maybe you can only give away 50k then you can still use the combination between a family bank and a traditional bank to still have the benefits because the payments that they are made to you can still be invested and help future generations but that all of course depends on your financial situation but the rules and the principles of a family bank still apply a family bank is a great way to build generational wealth and i would encourage everyone Everybody who wants to build generational wealth to think about a family bank and how it could benefit you. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share it with other people. If you have any questions, ask them via the comment section and I will answer as soon as possible. See you in my next video.